Bienvenidos a Welcome to Cuentos y Más. Welcome to Cuentos y Más. Bienvenidos a Cuentos y Más. Today, we're going to learn about Blanca, a girl from Argentina who came to the United States into a new school and she couldn't speak English. Hoy vamos a aprender sobre Blanca, una niña de Argentina que vino a los Estados Unidos y tuvo que ir a una escuela donde no hablaban español como ella. Also, we are going to learn about Octavio, a boy who was so frightened about going to school for the first time. Vamos a aprender también sobre un niño que se llama Octavio que tenía mucho miedo de ir a la escuela por primera vez. And we are going to finish by going to a very special school. Y vamos a terminar yendo a una escuela que es muy especial and where children learn English and Spanish at the same time. Donde los niños aprenden en inglés y en español al mismo tiempo. And guess what? Adivinen qué. Our first book, nuestro primer libro, se titula No English. And today we have me Jacqueline Jules with us. Hoy tenemos a Jacqueline Jules. Bienvenida, welcome. Thank you. Hey Jacqueline, can you tell us why you write this book? ¿Por qué escribiste este libro? Well, I'm a school librarian. I work at Timberlane Elementary in Falls Church, and we have students that come from many different countries at my school. And there was one particular little girl who came to my library to check out Spanish books every afternoon, and she would shake her beautiful head and say, no English. And she inspired me to write this story. Wow. Miss Jacqueline Jules trabaja en una escuela que se llama Timberlane Elementary. Y ahí hay niños de muchos, muchos lugares. Y a su biblioteca llegaba una niña que le decía no English. Y eso fue lo que a ella la inspiró para escribir este libro. Este libro es ilustrado, this book is illustrated by Amy Huntington y publicado, published by Meet and Press. So, can you read it to us? ¿Nos los puedes leer? I would be honored. Thank you. No English, the new girl said, shaking her head. Español. Her name was Blanca, and she was from Argentina. Mrs. Bertram gave her the empty desk next to mine. As soon as she sat down, Blanca took colored pencils out of her backpack. She drew all during spelling, and Mrs. Bertram didn't say a word to her. When I got caught making a picture during class, I got in trouble. It didn't seem fair. Mrs. Bertram, I raised my hand, Blanca is coloring. She's not doing the spelling words. Blanca looked up to see everyone staring at her. Then the classroom door opened. A lady walked in. I'm Mrs. Sanderson, she said. I'll be helping Blanca learn English. Everyone watched Blanca walk to the front of the room. She looked scared, like a little kid lost in a shopping mall. I suddenly felt bad for telling on her. When Blanca left the room, Mrs. Bertram talked to the class. Can you imagine what it's like to be surrounded by people you don't understand? Lonely, Jessica said. Absolutely, Mrs. Bertram said. What can we do to help make Blanca feel welcome? We could say hola, John said. That's hello in Spanish. Good idea, Mrs. Bertram agreed. What else? I know, Allison raised her hand. We could learn about Argentina. On the internet, Bobby added. Mrs. Bertram let Bobby and Allison use the computer before lunch. They found out that January is summertime in Argentina. Weird, Billy said. <laughs> Just different, Mrs. Bertram corrected. The more we talked about Blanca and her country, the more I wanted to make up for being a tattletale. At recess, I saw Blanca on the edge of the blacktop, 
jumping rope. Second graders weren't allowed past the third fence post. I ran across the blacktop to warn her. When I got there, Blanca was jumping to a Spanish rhyme. Uno, dos, tres. Hola, I said, remembering the Spanish word for hello. Blanca stopped jumping. Hola. This was my chance to make friends. I pointed to the rope. Share? She smiled and handed the rope to me. And just as I was taking it, Mrs. Greevy, the playground teacher, called, Girls, come back here. I didn't want us to get into trouble. Come on, I yelled to Blanca as I ran back. But Blanca didn't understand. With a cry, she ran up beside me and grabbed the jump rope out of my hands. No, she screamed. Blanca thought I was trying to steal her rope. I watched her run across the playground and into the school. She was out of trouble with Mrs. Greevy. But it was the second time in one day that I had hurt Blanca's feelings. Pobre Blanca, no me imagino cómo se debe haber sentido esta niña, ¿eh? Debe haber sido muy duro para ella llegar a una escuela donde nadie habla español como ella y tratar de comunicarse con otros niños debe haber sido muy duro. Además, para sus compañeros también era muy difícil comunicarse con ella porque ellos no podían hablar español. Pero es muy interesante que esta niña quiera hacer amistad con Blanca. Let's see what happens next. Veamos a ver qué pasa luego. After the break, después de nuestra pausa. Welcome back to Cuentos y Más. Bienvenidos a Cuentos y Más. Acuérdense, Blanca es una niña que es de Argentina y vino a una escuela donde únicamente se habla el inglés y ella no habla inglés. Ella está muy frustrada. Sin embargo, hay otra niña que está tratando de hacer comunicación con ella y tener amistad. Veamos a ver qué pasa. Let's see what happens. It bothered me like a scratchy tag at the back of my neck. How could I make friends with Blanca? She didn't understand when I talked to her. Blanca sat alone at lunch. On the playground, she kept to herself. Sometimes I watched her jump rope, but I didn't go near her. Friday afternoon was library time. I got an idea during checkout. Mrs. Porter, I asked the librarian, do we have any Spanish books? Yes, she said, handing me a book with nice pictures. This one is in Spanish and English. I found Blanca sitting at a library table all alone. For you, I said, holding out the book. Blanca shook her head as if she was saying, no. I opened up the book and pointed at the Spanish words, Espanol. Her brown eyes lit up. A second later, I was sitting beside her, putting my finger under a Spanish word. She read it to me. Then she put her finger under an English word until I read aloud. When we left the library, Blanca was carrying the book against her chest, smiling. On Monday morning, Blanca handed me a picture. It showed two girls sitting at a table reading a book. One of the girls had black hair and brown eyes and looked like Blanca. The other girl had blonde hair and blue eyes like mine. Thank you. We smiled at each other. I picked up my pencil and wrote Blanca beside her face. And Diane beside mine. Blanca had never said my name. I wanted to make sure she knew it. When I showed the picture to Blanca, we both giggled. Please stop talking. Mrs. Bertram was not there. We had a substitute named Mrs. Clemens. This is spelling time. Mrs. Clemens frowned. Blanca picked up her colored pencils and started a picture of her family. I made a picture of my family. We labeled everyone. I found out that she had a younger brother named Manuel. She found out that I had a younger sister named Veronica. Then Blanca drew a picture of her house. I made a picture of my house. We leaned toward each other, whispering and pointing. Girls, Mrs. Clemens called out. This is the second time I asked you to be quiet. I couldn't help it. Blanca and I were having such a good time. 
One small giggle came out, <laughs> then a louder one. Blanca started giggling too. Soon the whole class was laughing with us. That's enough. Mrs. Clemens pointed uh -oh. at Blanca and me. Come up here, right now. Everyone stopped giggling. I took Blanca's hand and gently led her to Mrs. Clemens. Tell me your name, she snapped as she filled out a purple card, the card that said you were in trouble and had to visit the office. Diane Wells, I squeaked. And this is Blanca. Blanca what? Mrs. Clemens asked. No English, Blanca said, shaking her head. Mrs. Clemens handed me the purple card. Blanca and I left the classroom for the long walk down the hall. When we arrived, the secretary asked us to sit down. I put my hands in my lap, and I tried not to cry. I had never been to the office before. Mr. Conwell, the assistant principal, walked in. He was so tall, I could hardly see his face from where I was sitting. Blanca put her hand on mine. Young ladies, he said in a deep voice, come this way. We sat down in his office with our heads lowered. So, what brings you here this morning? I lifted my head a little. We made pictures. Did the teacher ask you to draw pictures? I shook my head. It was spelling. So you were drawing pictures instead of writing spelling words, Mr. Conwell said? Yes. Do you agree? Mr. Conwell squatted and turned his head so he could look into Blanca's eyes. Is that what happened? Blanca shook her head and said, no English. Mr. Conwell rocked back on his heels for a moment. You're Blanca Cruz, the girl from Argentina. Blanca nodded. We talk to each other with pictures, I said. Mr. Conwell smiled. May I see what you drew? The next day, our pictures were hanging on the wall outside the office door. We heard nice things from students and teachers. Mrs. Bertram gave us a compliment and a warning. Remember what you promised, Mr. Conwell. No more drawing during class time. Lots of days have passed since then. Blanca sits with me and the other second grade girls at lunch. She plays outside with us at recess. Blanca has taught us Spanish jump rope rhymes. She doesn't shake her head and say no English anymore, but she does still count in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. We count along with her. Wow, qué lindo cuento. We're going to take a break, but we will come back and we will be at the Key Elementary School where kids learn in English and Spanish at the same time. Vamos a tomar una pausa, otra pausa pequeña, y ya regresamos. Cuando volvamos, vamos a estar en la escuela Key, en donde los niños aprenden tanto en inglés como en español. Nos vemos. We'll see you. Welcome back to Cuentos y Más. Bienvenidos de nuevo a Cuentos y Más. Here we are at Key Elementary School. Ahorita estamos en la Escuela Elemental Key. Let's go and talk to Miss Marjorie Myers, the principal of the school. Vamos a hablar con la directora de la escuela, Miss Marjorie Myers. Vamos. Miss Myers? Sí. Hola, hi. soy Mariela. Hola, oh, Mariela, qué gusto verte. Gracias. It's so great to see you. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Yay, so good. Hoy estamos aquí porque quisiera saber qué es una escuela de inmersión. I would like to know what is an immersion school. Una escuela de inmersión es una escuela donde los niños están inmersados en, en un programa bilingüe. Oh. Eh, pasan mitad del día en, en inglés y la otra mitad en español. An immersion school is where the children are immersed in two languages. Uh -huh. They spend half their day in English and half their day in Spanish. ¿Nos podría enseñar un, la escuela? Can claro. you show us the school? Claro, vamos a dar una vuelta. Let's take a walk around the school. Gracias. Vamos. So, immersion school. Uh, English and Spanish. Escuela de inmersión. Inglés, español. This means that the English-speaking kids go to one class and the Spanish-speaking kids to another class. Eso significa que los niños que hablan inglés van a una clase y los niños que hablan español van a otra clase? No, no, no. 
the immersion is that the children are mixed together. Oh. Inmersión están los niños juntos. Oh, okay. Los niños están divididos, mitad de español, mitad de inglés en una, un salón, y mitad de inglés y mitad de hablantes de inglés, hablantes de español en el otro salón, okay. y así aprenden uno del otro. They're mixed 50% Spanish speakers, 50% English speakers in each one of the classes, so they can help each other uh, in the class, and then they can be successful in both languages. Can you show me the library here? Do you sure, guys Sure, we have a wonderful library. Tenemos una biblioteca de maravilla. Come on. Welcome to our library. Bienvenida a mi biblioteca. Gracias. No, es lindísima. Sí, tengo una pregunta. Mm -hmm. eh, where is your foreign language section? ¿Dónde está eh, la sección de idiomas extranjeros acá? No, no, we don't separate the books. There's no foreign language section. Oh. Here, all the books are shelved together, just like the children. Aquí uh -huh. todos los libros están juntos, todos los, los estantes. Se puede ver un libro de, en español al lado de un libro en inglés. On the, on the shelves, the books are shelved together. A Spanish book, an English book, and they're not necessarily translations. They're just together, so it's easier to get everything filed and we can find it on the bookshelf. Much it better than if there were one section of foreign right. language. Right, this is great. So they are organized by subject. Están organizados por materia. And in one subject, you have the English and Spanish at the same time. En una materia pueden encontrar los libros en español y en inglés al mismo tiempo. These books are for the younger children. Estos libros son para los niños más jóvenes. And you can see Pruébalo, and I mean it, Stanley, El Mejor Almuerzo, Custer's Surprise, More Spaghetti, I Say, Little Rat, No, No, and No, 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 y No is one of our bilingual books. And this is the book that I promised you all that we were going to read today. Y este es el libro que yo les prometí que íbamos a leer el día de hoy. Do you think I can borrow this and read it? I would be delighted to lend you the book. Great. Great. Vamos afuera a leer el libro. Let's go outside to read the book. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias por toda su ayuda, for all your help. You're very welcome. And come back anytime. Que vuelvas cuando quieras para leer libros aquí en la biblioteca de Key School. Muchas gracias. Ciao. Okay, have a good time. Gracias. Gracias. Wow, that library was great. Esa biblioteca estuvo buenísima. And this school is marvelous. Y esta escuela es maravillosa. Now, let's read our book. Leamos nuestro libro. Aha, aquí está. Here it is. No, no, and no. No, no, y no. Written by, escrito por Mireille Talancé. And published by, y publicado por Corimbo. Today, Octavio is going to school for the first time. You see, says mom, school is fun. To hoy Octavio va a la escuela por primera vez. Ya verás, dice mamá, la escuela es divertida. See, this is your class and this is where you hang out your coat. May I have it? ¿Ves? Esta es la clase y aquí se cuelga el abrigo. ¿Me lo das? No, says Octavio. No, dice Octavio. Good morning says the teacher. So, you are Octavio. Buenos días, dice la maestra. Así que tú eres Octavio. No, says Octavio. No, dice Octavio. Come on, says mom. Don't be stubborn. I'll be back to pick you up soon. Can I have a kiss? Vamos, dice mamá. No seas testarudo. Enseguida vendré a buscarte. ¿Me das un besito? No, says Octavio. No, dice Octavio. The teacher leads Octavio into the classroom. Children, this is Octavio. Let's show him our classroom. No, says Octavio. La maestra hace entrar a Octavio en la clase. Niños, les presento a Octavio. Vamos a enseñarle nuestra clase. No, dice Octavio. Do you know how to do puzzles? Ask Juanita. No, says Octavio. ¿Sabes hacer rompecabezas? Pregunta Juanita. No, dice Octavio. I don't think he knows how to say yes. Juanita worries. Me neither, says Raúl. But let's wait and see. Me parece que no sabe decir sí. Se preocupa Juanita. Lo dudo, dice Raúl. 
Espera y verás. Look, Octavio, my last candy. Do you want it? Mira, Octavio, mi último caramelo. ¿Lo quieres? No, says Octavio. No, dice Octavio. Come see this. Octavio doesn't like candy. Vengan a ver esto. A Octavio no le gustan los caramelos. Where are the candies? Here. I left one on the table and it disappeared. ¿Dónde están los caramelos? Aquí. Había dejado una en la mesa y ha desaparecido. Tell the truth, Octavio. You have it. Confiesa al Octavio. Tú lo tienes. Lo tienes tú. No, says Octavio. No, dice Octavio. Then you have it, Guillermo. No. How about you, Alfredo? No. Roberto? No. Entonces tú, Guillermo? No. Y tú, Alfredo? No. Roberto? No. Let's see if you can guess what I have behind my back, says the teacher. A ver si adivinan lo que escondo en la espalda, dice la maestra. Candy for everyone, but hurry up. Your moms are coming soon. The first mom to arrive is okay. Octavios. Peekaboo, Octavio. Here I am. Caramelos para todos, pero deprisa, que llegan las mamás. La primera en llegar es la de Octavio. Cucu, Octavio, ya estoy aquí. But Octavio doesn't even realize she's there. Well, Octavio, are you coming or not? Pero Octavio no se da ni cuenta. Bueno, Octavio, ¿vienes o no? ¡No! ¡No! Wow, it seems like Octavio at the end really wanted to stay in school. Parece que Octavio al final realmente quería quedarse en la escuela. And I can see why. If Octavio is studying in a school like that, I would like to study here for the whole day. Si Octavio estudia en una escuela como esta, yo quisiera quedarme todo el día. Okay, now I'm going to go and play soccer a little bit. Voy a ir a jugar fútbol un ratito. But I will see you in the next episode of Cuentos y Más. Pero nos vemos en el otro episodio de Cuentos y Más. Chao. Bye.